Hey guys, today I have the new lip balm from Glow Recipe. It's called the Watermelon Glow Lip Pop. Cute name. It's 29 Canadian or 22 US dollars. You get 0.1 ounce or 3.1 grams, which is not a ton, but it's kind of in line with the more expensive lip balms. It's one of those clean at Sephora products. It's vegan, it's cruelty free, and it's supposed to be a three in one um, lip scrub, lip balm, and lip tint. It's supposed to help with dryness, dullness, and uneven skin texture. And it has these little like beads almost. It's like little particles of, it's called coconut flower sugar um, to help like exfoliate your lips and get rid of dead skin and all that stuff. Like a physical exfoliator. The packaging is adorable. Uh, it's pretty plasticky, but it is cute. It's got a little swirl on the inside. The light pink color, I do really like the packaging. The smell on this is so good. It's got the most delicious watermelon scent. I don't know if you've tried the the spray that they have, the watermelon glow spray. I used to have it. Um, it smells pretty much like that. It smells so good. It makes you want to eat it. It smells like candy, watermelon candy. I find I smell it a lot, like in the tube, yeah, it smells a lot. And when you're applying it, you can kind of smell it, but I don't notice it on my lips throughout the day. It definitely fades fast, which is good or bad depending what you want from this. I know a lot of people can get annoyed from strong scents, especially if it's right there, right up your nose. Um, but throughout the day, I definitely don't notice the scent while it's on my lips. And it does, feel a little bit exfoliating while you're putting this on, but I wouldn't purchase this if you are looking for specifically a lip scrub. It's very mild if that's what you're looking for. I'll notice maybe three or four beads every kind of application that I do, like it's not a lot. It does do like a little bit of exfoliation, that is true, and then they melt away and it's totally fine. But if you're looking for like a good lip scrub, this is not, this is not it. Yeah, you just rub your lips together and then the little exfoliating bits just kind of go away. I do really like the shade that it gives too. Nothing too overwhelming, nice and soft, so it's like a lazy lipstick. It's really nice. Now, usually with these types of products, they're kind of gimmicky, like the whole scent thing and the cute little thing can kind of mean sometimes, not all the time, that the product itself is not that great. You're buying it because it looks cute or because it smells good or whatever. So I wasn't too hopeful going into this, but it actually is a really good lip balm. I do, however, I really like to build it up when I put it on. Like if I just do a quick swipe swipe, it's not usually enough. I go over it quite a few times until it feels like a nice good layer, um, which probably will mean I will go through it quicker and it's expensive and all this. But at the end of the day, it is actually a really good lip balm. It uh, It's not like lip mask level lip balm, but it gets the job done. I don't feel like my lips need more moisture once it wears off. Um, I feel like they're decently hydrated. And the fact that it's a good working lip balm paired with the nice pink shade that it gives me, I'll probably buy it again once it runs out, we'll see. I'm definitely gonna keep using though and I'm definitely happy with my purchase. So yeah, I layer it up and then I'd say it lasts, it lasts a good couple hours on my lips, like the lip balm actually being on my lips lasts a good couple hours. But once it wears off, my lips still feel really nice and soft and hydrated and like it did the job of a lip balm, which can be hard to do apparently with some other lip balms. I don't know. It's not my favorite lip balm, but it is really good. My favorite lip balm is the Sol de Janeiro one. This one is still really good and I'll keep using it and I'm glad I bought it. I think this would make a good gift too because it's adorable, it's useful, it's a good lip balm and the pink shade I think would look good on a lot of people. So if you're interested in this, I say go for it. Just don't be looking for a really good lip scrub. It'll give you a little bit of something. It'll smooth out your lips a little bit, but you're not gonna get a good scrubbing, you're just not. I've been keeping this by my side for the last little bit. I just don't want to stop using it. I really like it. Anyways, that's all I have for today's video. Let me know if you're going to try this out and I will see you next time. Bye.